what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki guys and today guys I'll be showing you two methods of how you can unban your PlayStation 3 the first one I'll be doing is the CC API method and the second one I'll be using the webman method guys so before I get started guys I just want you to hit that subscribe button that like button and also hit that share button guys so let's go ahead and get started so guys let's go over to our browser and I will be leaving a link in the description to this website and it will take you right here guys and you can go ahead and get the file so let's scroll down and we're gonna get this one so right uh, left click and the file should start downloading in a couple of seconds there you go guys Now find where this file has been downloaded on your PC and here is mine so open the WinWar folder and let's just extract this folder right here now go ahead and close your WinWar and inside the CC API package let's go inside that folder you're gonna see two files one is PC one is PS3 so go in the PS3 folder and you're gonna copy this file over to your USB stick so let's go ahead and copy it and let's paste it on the USB stick so let's go back and at this point guys you can go ahead and eject your USB stick because we're now done with it and add into the PC folder now and we're gonna install this application guys on the computer so go ahead and double click hit next 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 and check this box so you can get an icon on your desktop next and install next and you can just do finish the application will launch so guys let's go over to the ps3 now so let me just bring it up let me close this and close this okay so bring up the playstation and let's put our usb stick inside the ps3 so go up to package manager x then install package file x go down to standard X and let's install the file that we just placed on the USB stick so it all for to go back and guys now that we have the application right here just go ahead and hit X on it and we're gonna go and install the the control console to our system now so it X give it a moment guys and you will get this page so go ahead and it X for OK and it yes so you're gonna install it now so it yes and it okay to let the console reboot okay okay now guys so now that the console has been rebooted you will get this this um, message and this sh that should prove that the application was installed successfully so let's go over to the CC API application and you hit files and hit add new console now you can name your PS3 anything you want
now guys you will need your PlayStation I um, IP address so if you don't know what the IP address is on your PlayStation let's go all, all the way over go down to system settings and go all the way down system information and you should see the IP address that your console is running on so we're gonna type that IP address in the application right here so let's go ahead and do that okay now that you have done that guys go over the console name that you have just placed and right click and do connect click on connect 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 it and down here you can see that it says console active and it shows your name so you can go ahead and hit refresh right here and it should show you the temperature of your console so that's my temp guys so to get your to get your console on ban right now if you have if you have a, a banned system and you want to get it on ban to go back online and all that all you have to do is go over to the console IDS part and right here guys you can go ahead and type in your new um, ID console ID and you can type that in right there and your PS ID you can also type it in right down at this side guys so once that's done guys just go ahead and set current ID PS set current PS ID and also set boot ID PS and set boot PS ID and that's it guys your console will now have a new um, ID PS or it will also have a new um, PS ID once you fill this box in with your new with your new numbers and that's it your console will be able to go back online so let me exit this guys and I'll also and I'll go ahead right now and show you the webman method guys so back out guys and go all the way back over to your game section and go to webman go to webman setup and right here guys just scroll go all the way down and you should see this section right here change IDPS and PSID in level 2 memory at system startup so the first box guys you're gonna the first box you're gonna put all that number and you're gonna continue that number in the second box and with your PSID you're gonna start it off in the first box and then you're gonna go all the way over to the second box guys and also when you're done putting in when you're done um, adding those number make sure that you check these two two boxes because if you don't check these two box the number that you just put in it won't save so once you check them once you have entered all your new numbers and you have checked these two boxes just scroll go all the way down to save and hit save and then that's it your new um, um, numbers will be saved in your system and you'll be able to go back online so guys I hope this has helped anyone out there and if it did please leave a like and a subscribe guys and also hit that share button guys so thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video